folks, this is Ron back from Ron's Drone Tech and Camera Channel. And today we have another video about our favorite little drone of 2020, the Mavic Air 2 Zoom Edition. Yes, I did say Zoom Edition. Uh, this week, uh, just this weekend, a firmware update dropped for the Mavic Air 2, and I'll put the, the number below. Um, it was discovered by uh, uh, Philly Mike over at the Philly Drone Life. Uh, he was up in the middle of the night and he saw the firmware update and it added um, zoom to this camera and it also um, added some other nice features uh, along with the zoom. Uh, it uh, made some changes to the A-Pass uh, feature and, and this is all on top of the app update that we received about five days before that added uh, the ability to customize your uh, flight control and yaw and gimbal pitch and uh, and also the new battery meter. So we will get into all that in uh, just a minute. But before we do get into all that, I wanted to show you my new strap, uh, my propeller uh, strap for the uh, Mavic Air 2. It goes all the way around the drone and what it does is protects the propeller from flopping around when you're trying to get it in and out of the case and it just just has a snap here it snaps in and it has uh, little bumpers there that hold it between the two uh, arms of the drone and it, you know it'll cover the bottom and all around I have a whole video where I show how you use the uh, this propeller um, holder for the Mavic Air 2 uh, you can be purchased on Amazon I will you know uh, drop a link to the video where I review this and I'll drop a link to this product It's very affordable I think it's $9.99 or maybe even less so um, we're going to be right back with a full review, so stay tuned. Okay, Ron back. I've got the uh, the Mavic Air uh, 2 on the table, and we've got to boot it up. we got the, uh, you know, the controller boot up, and the uh, and the iPhone uh, 11 uh, Pro uh, Plus, whatever it's called, attached, and uh, we're about to start a, a screen recording. All right, folks, so we're just about ready to take off. So we're going to get up here. We're going to demo some of the new features I just discussed. And I'm doing the screen recording. So I have that dual thing going so you can see what I'm tapping on the screen to to get to these, uh, you know, locations that access this, uh, you know, this, these new software features. So we'll probably start off with the uh, with the Zoom because uh, everybody everybody loves Zoom, right? So uh, so with no, further, with no further ado, let's get this... Uh, Let's get this bird up and out of here. So this bird is real easy to take off. You just hit that uh, automatic takeoff button, and you hold your uh, finger down on that uh, air up up arrow button on the screen, and then when you let it go, then it takes off. So see the good hover. It's uh, right over the pad. I, I just use the pad uh, even on this table to help with the um, precision landing if we choose to precision lane so you can see we have a good smooth hover here the the winds are very slight this morning I think I saw four mile per hour sustained uh, and that's uh, really good for the beach here usually it's it's always like uh, five to ten down here at the beach even when at, at its uh, lowest but uh, here we got a little breeze coming through but it's still still holding its own here so uh, so let's go uh, like I said let's go you know <laughs> I said up and out of here once but I'm gonna repeat myself and up and out of here again I want to do here is try the uh, that new zoom feature. It's got, as I said, every everybody loves a good zoom. So let's spin this drone around here. We got the exposure. I left the 8 ND filter in here because I'm going to aim away from the sun for a while, so I don't want to make it too dark. So there's there's our good friend uh, Lucy the elephant. So let's actually get a start the uh, recording to the SD card. So let's let's move to ourselves here. A little bit. We don't want to get too close here because we want to ruin our demo here. Okay, so there's there's good old Lucy the elephant, Margate's uh, favorite landmark. Uh, I think it's a, uh, you know, one of those national national road marks or something like that. It's not a national landmark, but it's like a ro road mark or something like. If you were on a travel map, it would be on every travel map. But okay, now here we go. We're in as you can see the screen here. We're in the one X. Um, you know, zoom right now, and uh, it's pretty cool that it uh, it defaults to having a zoom one. I didn't have to push anything to get here, but we're going to show you how to get there if you want to. So um, I'm going to hit it one time. Look at that, popped it right in here, and uh, I mean we're very close now. In fact, uh, we need to back the drone off a little bit now. We're we're actually too close. 
So there you go. Look at that. And um, you're looking at the video, but I've already seen a couple of videos from like uh, our friend Billy Kyle, who um, you basically if you tap in there one time. I mean, it's um, with this quad bear processor this thing has, and it's 48 megapixel capabilities. It really doesn't lose a lot at um, you know at, at going in one time. Now I am shooting this in 4K 30, so we're gonna demonstrate some of the other um, shooting options where the uh, zoom actually you know uh, you could do more things with the zoom as you lower the um, the the pixel rate you know from down to 2.7 1080p and so on. So okay, let's go one more time if we can. Let's see if we can. No, we can only go once or twice on 4K 30. So, um, okay, let's, uh, let's go back to, um, one. And let's stop, let's stop the, I don't know if we could change on the fly or not. Uh, let me go over here to the camera settings. Okay, we got to stop rolling the video here. Let's go to the camera settings. Okay, now you can see, okay, from the left here, you see your, your frame rates here. I have it on 30 frames per second. You can see it highlighted by the orange, but, uh, what you see in the middle is you used to just have 4K wide, but now you have 4K zoom. So that's, that's kind of a, a new feature. So you have to have it on 4K zoom. I guess the zoom, I guess it doesn't zoom on 4K wide. Let's try it here. Yeah, the the, uh, the arrow's gone or the button's over here, the zoom is gone. So uh, let's go back there again. So 4K wide, no, no, um, no zooming. So 4K uh, zoom we already demonstrated. So now we're going to go down to point. 7k so let's go back to the main screen there there the um the controls back again it's it's one one dot three x now so um let's start recording again here okay and then let's hit it hit it once okay now it goes to two you can see um we had kind of the same um view we had before of lucy let's hit it one more time okay so it only goes twice here too but Here's the advantage here is, um, do it one more time. Um, we'll stop the video again. We'll go back here. Uh, we could even do this in the 60 frames per second everybody loves. So at 60 frames, 2.7K, we can actually uh, do the 2X zoom, which we could, you know, you couldn't do the 60 frames in the uh, 4K zoom. So let's go back here, start video again, and, uh, go to 2x zoom and we're recording in 60 frames per second so um that's something that's going to be very valuable to a lot of people a lot of people love 60 frames per second so there it is um all right so let's i gotta keep stopping this here and i don't know if recording this video is any i i guess to show you how good it is okay i'm going to stop it again and we're going to uh, go back to uh the where we can choose our options now we're going to go down to 1080p and um, we'll go 1080p 30. Okay, we're in 1080p 30 now. And we're going to go uh, back here. We're going to go... Oh, 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 let's, we, we, didn't, we didn't do the uh, recording. Let's start the screen recording here. Okay, so there we're all the way zoomed in at 3x. There's 3x again. There's 4x, I mean, 4x. Now we're back to 1x here. We're going to go in order. 2 2x, 3x, and 4x. So you can really zoom in. Uh, now, we I can't tell here in the beach because it's kind of bright. Whether how much um, how much you know uh, we're, we're losing quality by zooming in the 4x, but um, it's still nice to have there. So let's hit it one more time. Now, here's a little trick that I learned from. Uh, from again, from uh, uh, Philly Mike over Philly Drone Life. So um, I'm going to come around to the front of the camera again, see if I can show you. Okay. Now on the side here, you have a uh, a function button, and up top here you have the scroll wheel, which usually controls your gimbal. Hope I'm not in focus, so you can see. It. There's a wheel that's usually your gimbal wheel. And there's your function button. I hope again. I hope I'm showing this right. So if you hold the function button down and um, you know, use that, uh, what, what you use is the gimbal wheel, and you turn it, you could slowly zoom in using the, um, the little wheel in the front there, so you get a smooth, and you can go in, in incre increments, like I'm at 3.1 now, 3.2, where 
tapping the button, you can only go in full stops, where this gives you partial stops. So I'm at 3.8, so let me back down again. So you can just, you're really defining, just almost like you're using a, a long lens to precision, <clears throat> precision focus the way you want to on an object. Sorry, my voice is cracking here, it's early in the morning. So I really love the fact that uh, you can, you know, do that smooth zoom in and get it precisely where you want to. So again, that's the function button over here and using the gimbal pitch wheel on, on the side here, folks. Function, gimbal pitch wheel. Okay, so, um, okay, we, I think we covered the uh, zoom uh, pretty well there. So uh, what we're going to do now is um, I'm going to show you... Um, a feature that was um, added also, um, I'm going to go into the menu system here. We're gonna, I guess we're going to keep stopping the video to show all this stuff. Uh, I'm going to go back into the, uh, and I'm going to go back into that menu. I'm going to go into the three dots at the top. I'm going to go into control. And we're going to go all the way to the top here. And we're not going to go all the way to the top here. Uh, let's see here. Hold on a second. I always have trouble finding this junk here. Okay, it's actually in safety. So in safety, we have like the bypass. Okay, we're starting from the top here. Flight assistance, obstacle avoidance action. We have the either bypass, brake, or off. And what that means is if you're flying towards an object, let's say a building or a wall, with bypass, it would avoid it. And uh, if you switched over to brake, which I'm doing right now, it would just stop and not, not hit that wall. It wouldn't fly around. It just would stop. And then, of course, you have off on the extreme uh, right, which it, 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 it would just run and crash right into the wall. But it would still beep all the way into the wall before it crashed. So you would still have an audible beep that it was about to hit something. So you could take control at the last minute and not crash into the wall. But um, I'm going back to bypass here. And at the bottom, you have disable sideways uh, flight. So what that means is if you're in, like, say, the bypass, um, it would bypass, but it wouldn't bypass to the side. And now this doesn't have side sensors, so it wouldn't, it wouldn't bypass into a tree or telephone pole or something like that. It would just only fly straight to avoid the, uh, the object. So, I mean, that could be difficult in some situations. If it's a very wide object, you know, um, it, you know, and maybe if it couldn't go over it, um, that would be a problem. But, uh, um, but let's see if we can test this out just... Uh, just slightly here. Um, I'm going to bring it down and in. Uh, okay, we're on bypass now. And we're going to fly towards these trash cans here in front of me and see if it kind of raises up and over them. Oops, wrong way. You probably can't see it in the um, thing, but i got I got to start recording here. All right, so let's come at them. Then. We should bypass these green trash cans. Uh, it, didn't, it didn't need to bypass these green trash cans. Let's try it again. Make sure I have the safety feature on. Okay, it says bypass. Okay, let's see if we can bypass these trash cans this time. See, it kind of raises itself over those trash cans. See, look, it won't hit. It won't hit the trash cans. It just raises stuff right over top of them. So, um, so that works very well. Now, let's see, let's show you the braking feature here. Okay, we're going go to go the brake. So now it should not fly over them. It should just stop. So let's try this again here. Go back a little bit. So this time it just won't let me get any closer to the trash cans. And no matter how 
how hard I'm pushing forward on the stick here, which I'll show you. I'm pushing full forward here and it won't move because I have the um, the brake going. So there it is. So you can move, I can move back, but I can't move forward any more than a couple feet there. That shows you the advantage of, um, and you can hear him making that, that, that beeping now. He's telling his close stuff. So that is um, the, um, there's new features there. So I'm going to go back to, I like bypass. So I'm going to go back to bypass here. So uh, let's uh, raise it up a little bit. Oops. Raise it up. Okay, now you're going to notice this little button on the side of the, the screen here. Um, all the way over to the um, left. It's the screen button. And uh, what this button does, it automatically turns um, all those A-pass uh, features on and off for you so you don't have to dig into the menu like see that says safety assistance uh, let me do it one more time okay off on it's a safety assistance mode sideways flight off um so uh, i'm not sure exactly what that meant one more time here okay um now it will not do uh the sideways flight which we talked about earlier so that's an easy way to um enable or disable the uh sideways um, flight of the drone so um, I'm gonna go get this away from us a little bit here there's a birdie by birds 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 so let's kind of go up again here now I'm going to show you something here that um, oh I have, the, I have the sideways thing now so you see I cannot move the hold on see I cannot move the drone sideways now left and not not right and not left it just only moves front and back now so then i have to just have to hit that green button to disable so now i can move left right and left again so there it is folks i kind of don't you know we were talking about this on the uh philly and ron show last night i'm not quite sure why you would want to um disabled sideways um, I guess there could be certain situations maybe flying through trees or such but um, I'll know I'll let you know when I figure out a situation where I want to disable sideways flying and how that how that can make it safe in a real world situation but what I want to show you here folks is okay we're gonna go to the um, upper right hand corner you see a uh, number 32 which is my battery life and it's in it, the numbers are in green and you see like orange and green in a black circle and what that is is telling me i have 32 percent battery life left and why i'm highlighting this is in the past um this was just a white it was just a total white uh bat figure picture of an icon or drawing of an icon telling you the battery life in the middle it was very hard to see especially if you were outdoors in, in broad daylight so this is much easier to see and if you tap the button which I'm going to tap it right here and um, it gives you some figures here it tells you it's um, three minutes until it does a automatic return to home on you which is an orange then in red is telling you five minutes and 40 seconds until it's forced to land and it's um, the bottom one which is a white um, kind of like alarm clock uh, type of symbol is telling you Eight minutes to 42 seconds until the battery is totally depleted. So um, these are very helpful features as compared to what was there before, which was, you know, not all that helpful at all, really. So um, again, you just tap it once to show it, tap it another time to, um, you know, uh, get rid of it. So um, we're running low in this battery, so we still got more stuff to go over. So what's, um, you know, what's what bring, what stop this? Uh, we don't stop it yet. Well, we're going to bring it back, actually. I wonder if we're close enough. We'll do this massive precision landing. Let's try a precision landing on the table here. Uh, return to home. Go home. Okay, it's probably going to go up to whatever I had to hike. No, it didn't go. I was hoping it wouldn't go up to the, you know, I have it set to go up to like 250 feet or something real high. Uh, maybe it is going to do that. Unfortunately, it's going to do that massive thing where it goes all the way up to my ultimate range, which is kind of good because this area I'm in here, we have some tall buildings which probably borderline on uh, you know three or four hundred feet high here so it's kind of good that i haven't set that high in this particular area here but in this i, I wish it would have been close enough that it wouldn't have go gone into this massive you know going a million miles in the air but uh oh well we got enough battery life it's it's at 25 landing 
It's coming down. I can't tell yet whether it's um, whether it looks accurate or not, but uh, I think we'll be okay. If, if it if it if it doesn't look like it's gonna land on the table, I'll take uh, command and uh, I'll, I'll be the pilot in command and, and land it. So what's you know let's uh, take a good look at it here and see here. Hope you folks can can see it. You'll probably hear it in a second. I'm gonna back off the camera a little bit to get a good better view. There we go. It was a little off when it first came down, but it, it corrected itself there, and it's going to look right, right almost back in the middle of the pad here. So it, it did fine. So let's stop the uh, screen recording here, folks. And uh, we're going to shut everything down here and go uh, to a second battery. And now, folks, uh, you do know that you can, I call them hot, hot swap these batteries here. Like, I won't have to turn the transmitter or the phone app off. I'll just turn the drone off, put a fresh battery in, and everything will pop back up again without me rebooting the controller or the phone. Just a, you know, uh, power user tip there if you didn't know that already. So um, I'm going to shut this recording down. I'm going to pop in a fresh battery and uh, we're going to go back up in the air again. Screen recording is still gone. So I got a somewhat fresh battery in here, uh, 67%. So uh, let's get this up in the, uh, up in the air again. Okay, just hitting the uh, automatic off. takeoff button. The home point has been updated. There it Please goes up. check it on the map. Of course, holding a good hover. Wind's picking up a little bit out here. It's a little windier than when I took off for the first time, but it's still good. Still good for the beach. So, uh, okay, let's uh, get this up and out of here again. So I like to fly. I like to hover over the dune because nobody can walk on the dune, so I'm never flying over anybody's heading to dune because the dune is like an off you know off limits type of thing so um okay we've shown you a lot of good stuff already so um let's go ahead and show you the new um uh you know uh, speed controls gimbal pitch and all that so we want to go to the three dots at the upper right hand uh thing on the screen again there we were showing you the um the bypass and the uh and, and the braking system so um yeah all right let's go back to bypass so, um, okay, so uh, that's in safety, and um, some all this stuff's kind of, you know, old there. Uh, okay, over here in control, uh, I don't know if anything changed here yet, and I'm not going to, you know, like, do a lot of searching around here because I don't want to waste your people's time here if I don't know what I'm doing. So, okay, so under camera, um, I don't think anything changed either. In fact, uh, hold on, I think, I think the control was where I wanted to be. Oh, here it is. Under uh, the gimbal stuff, advanced uh, gimbal settings. Okay. Now, here we go. Now, it shows you normal mode. Uh, we have pitch speed, pitch smoothness, yaw speed, and yaw smoothness. And, um, you know, uh, th these are all personal preferences. Um, you know, you um, let me show you how the uh, pitch and pitch smoothness speed uh, goes. And the yaw is just how... how fast or slow the drone you know moves moves and looks side to side so um you know for flying it's you know if you're flying fast you kind of want that to be a little faster if you're flying cinematically you want that to be a little uh slower so okay so in tripod mode you also have sorry you also have the um the same same four adjustments and uh I mean, of course in tripod mode you're, you know, you're, you're, when you're flying, you're kind of barely moving, so you can really slow the stuff down because uh, you, you're never going to be flying fast and, you know, avoiding objects and stuff in, 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 in you know, target mode or tripod mode. And sport mode, of course, you know what sport mode is. It's kind of uh, when you're moving fast, but it's nice you can tr control the pitch speed, pitch speed, pitch speed, pitch smoothest, yaw speed, and yaw smooth, smoothest in that also because... Um, you, uh, a lot of people like to fly in sport mode, and um, because the faster the screen moves, kind of sometimes the more dramatic the video looks. And uh, and with this feature too, they've also added um, a feature which I don't quite know the name of, but what it does is um, it keeps the gimbal more level when you um, you know when you kind of uh, 
put your pedal to the metal or hit the gas before if you were in uh, sport mode but it also would happen in normal mode where you would accelerate very quickly uh, I guess that movement would force the gimbal to face kind of downwards to more towards the ground rather than being level and this has supposedly corrected that I haven't tested it yet but other people have and they say it has so we, we, we'll try to get around to that today um, so that that's very that, to me that's one of the, the big features because I have that issue with the gimbal um, tilting downwards not even not only on the Mavic uh, Air 2 but also on the Mavic Pro uh, Mavic 2 Pro and uh, I find it a lot it happens when I'm flying into uh, a, a strong wind uh, even if I'm not going all that fast but just flying into a strong wind can force that gimbal downwards so I'm glad to see that that uh, arrive here and I hope it arrives to the Mavic 2 Pro also but um, okay so what's uh, I didn't mean to get rid of that sorry folks Okay, let's go back. We're in normal mode now, so let's um, let's show you. Uh, I'm going to put pitch speed and um, uh, and what way up here uh, and pitch smooth is way up. Okay, so now um, I'm going to pitch the gimbal down. You can see it go down real fast, up real fast. You know, it just it just goes like crazy and doesn't stop for a long time either. So now let's go back here. And let's put pitch speed real smooth, like say, we'll go down to like 12, and pitch smoothest will go down to uh, uh, like, like we'll say 10. So now I do the same thing when I pitch upwards. See how it's kind of real smooth and down real smooth, and kind of comes to a gentle stop rather than just um, just rolling on forever. In fact, I would like probably like it to roll a little bit even more. So it's um, Let's take that smoothest, um, I guess, up, up to 15. Yeah, there. I think that's a little bit better. So I, I like a, I like that to be very, very smooth. So uh, let's go back in and show you all. Like y'all's, you know, set pretty high here. So let's see. So we, we you're gonna, you're gonna y'all the side to side here. So see where, see how I, I went really fast, side to side here. And maybe you kind of don't want that when you're flying because you can't do those kind of smooth, uh, uh, you know, looks back and forth. So let's go back in here and take that uh, y'all speed down to, let's knock it down to about 50. Okay. So it's still awful. It's not awful fast side to side, but it's better side to side. So you could even, you know, if you really want to fly cinematic, you could really slow that down even more. So, um... And of course, in um, I'll show you this too. In um, I think in tripod mode, of course, uh, I could have that real, um, you know, I had the pitch speed real low in that because uh, I mean the yaw speed. I have the yaw speed really low. I've been on 25 in uh, tripod mode. So if I really want to get that smooth um, yaw, I would just switch into uh, tripod. But I think I got it dialed in pretty good. So I'm not going to go on on for that. I mean, some people probably hold videos on where they show you how to um you know do that uh, you know adjust those settings or whatever it, it's really up to the user everybody's got to kind of fine tune them in for themselves you can go to somebody's channel which has kind of base settings and maybe you can kind of work off of that so um i think we covered uh that in a, a pretty good detail there um so um i think i've hit most of the uh the strong points in it i said on on tuesday's last tuesday's app update that's when we got the um you know the the, the gimbal pit the pitch the y'all all that was added on and the uh the the battery button which gave you uh you know a much more highlighted battery icon on the screen and gave you the other three uh battery parameters which you could uh just tap to get an instant um kind of update on uh, what were your battery what your battery situation is so and um then and something else may got added to but i've hit the high points and then with the uh the firmware update that arrived uh overnight sunday into monday that's when we added the um i'm going to come around to the front of the camera um the firmware update that we got on um on monday that's when we um we got the um stomp on here the zoom which we showed you the zoom feature which is big and the um the advanced uh, A-pass features with the bypass, the brake, and the off. 
and a disable and enable and side to side. And I mentioned too that uh, we've got that uh, feature where the gimbal doesn't um, pop down as much as it did before. Uh, maybe I'll, I'll show you that. I'll take off real fast in sport mode. I mean, if you if you never had this problem before, you kind of won't know what I'm talking about. But we're gonna we're gonna zip it around in sport mode, it, and it doesn't ha it, it would happen in normal mode too. But um, we're gonna zip around in sport mode and see if the camera stays up. And, and and for me, this is not a good day to test because it's not particularly windy, which I mostly had the problem in wind. But other people have it all the time. So uh, I'm gonna stand behind the camera in the shade again and. Uh, We'll, um, we'll, we'll test this uh, new feature out. And I, I don't even know what this new feature is called, but uh, I explained it already, so I'm not going to say it again. So I'm going to go over here kind of in the shade, and we're going to whip it around in sport mode. Okay, taking it out in sport mode. Now I'll bring it back in sport mode. I think I disabled my sideways flying again, which I don't want to do. I did not disable my sideways flying, okay. All right, I'm not having that issue in, uh, of the, of the gimbal, uh, go, you know, tip, uh, pitching downwards when I'm in, uh, when I try to accelerate really fast. That, that's really good to know. Okay, so I'm, I'm going as fast as I can here. Um, for sure I'm in sport mode. I'm um, uh, 30 some miles per hour here and it's not uh, pitching downwards at all. So that's good to know. Sport mode doesn't seem as fast as it used to here. I'm definitely in the sport mode here, but I uh, wonder if I've done anything with the settings. Let's go side to side fast. Okay, here I'm right back to where I was. So it's bringing towards me really fast. It's not pitching downwards, that's for sure. Yes, yeah, so this is really good. This is, uh, you know, really nice that they fixed this um, that thing where we pitch downwards. It's almost my favorite thing about the update. Okay, so we're way out the sea now. Let's try our zoom. I think we're still in 1080p. So let's try the zoom button again. Okay, we even have to change our, uh, you know, our, our roll, roll of thirds there. Oh yeah, there's the 3x. We did that was a 2x previously. Here's a 4x, so we can really, really zoomed in here. Like uh, I'll get Lucy framed up there. Oops. <laughs> but you all seems faster when you're zoomed in. Yeah. So okay, now we're at 4x. We're gonna. Um, there's 1x. I'm way out. There, I'm a little bit closer. 2x, 3x, and 4x is where I want it for this. Uh, let's take a. Let's stop this video here and take a picture and see how the picture looks. And I'm getting low on, on air on battery here. So let's go, let's do uh, photo, smart photo. Oh, and we, I forgot we can't zoom in on the, um, you know, with pictures. How about that? You can only zoom in on the, uh, but I never, I never thought about that. So uh, I'm going to go back to the video again. And uh, we're just going to bring it back here. Uh, we're we'll doing another return to home here since we had such good luck with our last one. Go home. She's ascending and returning. I'm going to stand over here. Easy audio from the screen recording. Kind of foggy. Get a little schmoggy today, as uh, my friend Philly would say. I think she's way overhead now, up there at, uh, he's at 284 feet. I think I kind of hear it. It's back now. It's just got to come down. We're at 21% uh, battery life, and I'll give you the rest of the parameters. It, it, it says it is landing. It's not telling me how much landing time, but it's 5 minutes, 34 seconds until the battery is depleted. So uh, we're, we're, we're 
we're right at the home point, but we're 200 feet up, so it's coming down. Okay, look at all for schmoggy. There it is. It's right above head, folks. Well, hopefully she ran lands on the table again, but as always, I'll be ready to cancel. It's coming down off now, but the same thing before. It corrected itself big time at the last minute, the last time. So let's see if it does the same thing here. Doesn't seem to be, oh, oh, wait a minute. It doesn't seem to be correcting. It may have corrected it, I don't know, but I didn't trust it, so we're gonna do a manual land this time. It wasn't correcting itself as fast as it did the other time. Landing. Sorry, folks, I didn't want to take a chance. It, it didn't seem to be coming down. It didn't seem to correct at the last minute on the position landing like it did on the first one, which is perfect. It was still kind of over here. I think when I hit the cancel button, it was starting to correct itself at the last minute, so it probably would have precision landed, but I got a little, you know, uh, too anxious and jumped out of it too fast and did a manual landing, but, uh, you know, you did see that, that perfect uh, uh, precision landing the first time and probably would have did the second time. So, okay, I don't want to make this video go on forever and ever. I hope we covered um, a lot of the new features of the Mavic Air 2 that received and, and, and the updates in the last, the, the app update and the firmware update that came it, almost in the same week. It did come, in, I was going to say almost, it did come in the same week. And, um, you know, I mean, it's, it makes this a, a substantially a better drone with these updates. And basically, they've turned the uh, Mavic Air 2 into the Mavic Air 2 Pro now, or the Mavic Air 2 Pro Zoom with these new features. So, um, and all this without raising the price one bit, still $799, the best value out there in the drone nowadays. So, um, I'll probably, uh, maybe I'll do a little tabletop section here if I need to do any kind of wrap up or whatever. I look at the video if I think I need to, you know, do any conclusions or whatever. I'll add a desktop, uh, you know, component to this video. If I don't, um, then this will be the wrap up. So, again, thanks for joining me out here at the beach this morning on this beautiful August afternoon down here in uh, Margate City by the famous Lucy the Elephant. And, uh, you know, uh, if you haven't already subscribed, you know subscribe to the channel hit the notification button if you got anything out of this video hit the thumbs up on the way out and we will see you on the next one